We've all been talking about Ebola lately. And here's a question I've been asked a lot. Why isn't there an Ebola treatment? If you're in a company making new medicines, vaccines, therapies for patients, the first question you might ask is, how many customers are there? From 1976 until 2013, less than 2,000 people across the world had Ebola. And then a sudden uptick to today, more than 13,000 cases of Ebola worldwide. Next, you might ask, who's going to pay? Ebola has hit hardest three West African countries. In these three countries in Africa, on average, 85% of the population lives on less than a dollar per day. Less than a dollar per day. Because of all these factors, we're not meeting the needs of the world's poorest. And as Ebola teaches us, that matters. So what's the solution? How do we make sure that we're ready and that we stop Ebola? First and foremost, we have to act now. The international community must stop Ebola in West Africa. We need frontline healthcare workers, nurses, and they need protective gear and the means to treat these patients who are suffering. We need products for the poor. We have to put in place systems and risk reduction to allow for companies to get involved. And Ebola is a reminder that all lives do have equal value. We need to build health services for everybody, including the world's most poor. In our interconnected world, a health crisis anywhere is a health crisis everywhere.